People don't realize that actually a lot of business happens here, right? They think, oh, beaches and sand and Coronas, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. But really when it comes down to it, you know, Tampa's a, a very business driven town. West Shore is the largest business district in the Tampa Bay region. It's actually home to over 4,000 very diverse different businesses, uh, national headquarters, regional headquarters, and actually a lot of startup smaller companies as well. If you look at West Shore on a map, it's really the bullseye of all of the Bay Area. We can recruit talent from uh, New Tampa, from Brooksville, Apollo Beach, St. Pete, um, all these different markets really, this is the one hub that brings them all together. In West Shore, I would say it's work hard, play hard. There's a lot of corporate buildings, a lot of businesses, a lot of suits and ties. However, at the end of the day, those ties come off. We have two major million square foot plus malls that are virtually within walking distance of each other, both very vibrant in this area, which is, is kind of unusual to see that. There's Raymond James Stadium, the George Steinbrenner Field there. We have a brewery in West Shore. So there's, there's plenty of things to keep people entertained. As an employee, as an employer, uh, as an as a individual, as a family, there's so much you can choose from. You have the airport right here, you have sports to choose from, many different restaurants, uh, two high-end malls to choose from for shopping, and, and you name it. I, I tend to say it, West Shore District has anything and everything for you to choose from. I'm five minutes away from going anywhere I want to across the nation or even international travel, and I'm five minutes from going on a wonderful bike ride or a walk across the bay. It's such an interesting collection of things all pulled together in a very nice tight package. The airport is probably a mile from where we are. It is a fantastic location for us here. We have a lot of business partners and other employees that live and work in other parts of the country. So for them to visit us here, literally, they can land at the airport and be here within five minutes. It is centrally located. You do have good access to residential, the airport, and the major road networks, yet it's not a traditional CBD high-rise district. It's very similar to some of the other markets, for example, Buckhead in Atlanta. People are excited about what's happening in the area. They're building all these multi-family units. You see more and more people walking around the area than ever before because it's being connected with all of these different pieces. So the energy is honestly second to none and that does not die at five o'clock. Really enjoy the residential living, especially here uh, where we live at the Millennium. It uh, has a nice fire, a nice pool, a nice grill area. Just yesterday, uh, my friends and I grilled out here. We had some steaks and sat by the fire and shared our days with each other. We called it our family dinner. Now being here two and a half years, I've, I'm, I haven't come numb to it as of yet. It's still every single day is a beautiful day for me. I think it's going to take a while to still get used to it. We have almost 100,000 people working in this district uh, and it continues to grow. The good news is there's room for more. I think you need to come and explore it because you will get the comfort level that you need to know that this is a great place to live, work and play.